welcome to another cooking time with me, K1 Mildred. Today is World Jollof Rice Day. So, I decided to make some Cameroonian Jollof Rice. I'm sure you're going to love this. As usual, I'm going to walk you through the ingredients, then we'll get into our cooking. So, so to, to make, make our, our very tasty, tasty Cameroonian Jollof Rice, rice like the best Cameroonian Jollof Rice, we're going to need three cups, cups of this Cameroonian rice. rice. In, in Cameroon, Cameroon, if you're watching this on Cameroon, you can use the uh, Uncle Ben rice. We used to use that one, it goes very well. And we'll use three bay leaves, two cups of chicken stock. I, I, I drained it from the chicken I did earlier. And, and if you want to watch how I do my chicken, you can watch the chicken video, the Greenish chicken video on the channel. Then to cook our rice, we'll need one third cup of vegetable oil, half a teaspoon of uh, white pepper, pepper, you know, I love white pepper. pepper. And the, the secret to also make it very smoky, to have that smoky taste, taste, that authentic smoky taste, you, you have, have to use, use smoked paprika. paprika. This, this is my smoked paprika, paprika powder, and I'm using a tablespoon, level tablespoon of that, one, one can of tomato puree or tomato uh, concentrate, one, one can is like 70 grams, salt, salt taste. taste. Uh, bell, bell pepper and, and tomatoes, tomatoes, you see how we use that. Green beans, beans and carrots, the top, top size ginger, three cloves of garlic, garlic and onions. So, so basically, this is all that you're going to use to make the best jollof rice. So, so now I'm going to prepare the tomatoes, the fried tomatoes into a puree, and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Then we'll proceed with the rest of the steps, okay? So, I got all my, my fresh tomatoes chopped, and with the red bell peppers, so I'm going to blend this together with the onions. Oh, did I say onions? With the ginger and with the garlic. Normally, traditionally, we don't add the bell peppers when blending it, but I noticed that when I do that, it gives a very nice sweetness that I love in my jollof rice. So, if you don't want that, just keep it away, okay? So I'm just going to blend this together. Meanwhile, I'll start heating up my oil while I blend this. So my oil is completely heated. I begin with frying the onions. Always fry the onions first. Did you hear that sound? And as you all know by now, if you have been following this channel, if you have been watching this channel, you will know by now that I always fry my onions with some white pepper. Why? Because it gives it a very unique sweetness. And I'm sorry again if you can hear some noise in the background. My kids are home. <laughs> I'll just give my onions like some two minutes to fry, or maybe a minute to fry, then I'll add some tomatoes as well. So I'm going to add my tomatoes, and I begin with the very fresh tomatoes, the blend. At the time I pour the tomatoes, I always keep it a distance, you know, sometimes you have to find ways to avoid accidents in the kitchen because it can skip and give you a burn or something. From experience, I always give it a distance, like stand apart. <laughs> then I'm adding the tomato, the concentrate. That's what gives jello fries the, the redness, that authentic redness. So I'm just going to let this cook till it's ready and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So my tomatoes are completely cooked. You see it begins to stick under the pot just the way I told you in other videos. To know that the tomatoes is cooked, it begins to stick and the water dries out. And you see the oil floating on it. If you can see into my pot, I hope you can see that. So the tomatoes are ready. So I'm just going to wash my rice and pour it right into the tomatoes. I'm just going to wash it twice. Okay. If your rice is really dirty, you can wash it three times, four times. But mine is okay. Just pouring the rice into my pot right now. Just give it a good stir. You 
remember I told you <laughs> I have my little people running around. <laughs> they don't understand that mommy is doing something. They're just waiting for their food. So, you see? Just tearing this in. Then I'll pour my chicken stock. Remember, two cups of chicken stock. I'm pouring it right in. Great. Then remember the paprika powder, the smooth paprika. Goes right in. Then the last thing that I'll put in, <laughs> you hear somebody calling my mom. <laughs> Three bay leaves, just throw them in. Just like that, and I'll cover this up and let it cook. I'll let this cook for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, but I'll keep an eye on it so you don't walk away when you're cooking with jollof rice. Just keep an eye on it. And on medium heat, you cook on medium heat because it, it also has a tendency to get burnt easily. You can't avoid it. I don't know the way to avoid it yet, but just keep an eye on it, okay? So. We're going to check how our pot is doing right now. A jollof rice. Oh my god. You see. Just in time to save some burning. <laughs> see that sound? I'm going to reduce it again. Then I will add a seasoning cube. Perfect. Looks nice. So all you have to do is to check and stir. But I'm going to taste the seasoning, taste and adjust the seasoning. Is good. I'll just cover this up again and let it cook for five more minutes. Then I'll be back to add the vegetables. Okay. So another checking session. Remember, just keep an eye when cooking jollof rice. You will notice that the water is drying up. But what we are going to do if you taste the rice right now, like is the case. It's not cooked yet. It's not completely cooked. It's almost ready, like halfway gone. But we want it to be completely cooked. So I'm introducing the vegetables right now. The carrots and the green beans. If you don't want vegetables in your jollof of rice, keep it aside. <laughs> but you know I like vegetables in my rice. So you just stir them in. Give it a good stir. You see the water is completely gone but it's not cooked don't add water as i said we're going to use steam to finish the cooking process and i want to trap my steam into the pot as much as possible alternatively you can just trust it in the oven if you have a steam oven just trust it in the oven but since i'm cooking it this way i'm going to cover this up with my parchment paper or you can use foil paper to trap the steam to kind of just cover it to trap the steam and let it just cook I'm trying to work this up just like that so now it's on low heat very low heat so I'll just let this steam up it should take us at most 10 minutes and I promise you guys we are done I'm going to check how my rice is doing. Oh, look at that steam. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my word. It smells really good. Oh Lord. My friends, can you believe the rice is ready? Look at that. Look at how fluffy it is. This is it. 
guys, this is it. Oh, oh my god, it smells really good. I mean, I'm really carried with the with the aroma that has filled my kitchen right now. So that's how to get it done. Very easy as usual. The last thing, don't go away because we're going to try this goodness right now. I'm going to dish it up and show you how it looks like. Time to taste. Mm. Let me start with this. It looks really good. And it smells really good. You notice I'm having it with some mixed uh, cabbage, mixed vegetable. I did a video of this. You will see the video, I'll upload the video as well so you can see how I made the mixed vegetable. I just love to have the extra vegetables to eat my jello rice. Guys, this is good. I'm in foot heaven right now. I feel like I'm walking the streets of heaven. <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching this video. The rice is really, really delicious with this paprika. I get the smokiness from the authentic jollof rice just because I use the smoked paprika to make this. And the combination with vegetables, too delicious. My friends, if you do make this video, if you do make this jollof rice, you see what jollof rice can do? I'm now confused on what to say. Okay, thank you. Thanks so much for watching this video, for spending this time watching this video. If you do make it, please send me a picture, tag me on Facebook, Instagram. And if you do like my video, play, do give me a like. Food you this this warming on Thanks so much, God bless. Bye. Daddy chopped the wood we need to keep the fire strong. With toil and sweat, he keeps.